Kasi uh, erupted, no? Ito sa minor uh, preatomagmatic eruption. And began with um, brief uh, preatomagmatic burst followed by a longer uh, longer uh, magmatic uh, eruption. So yung activities began at 7.22 in the morning and this was followed by yung longer na magmatic eruption consisting of several discrete explosion events from 7.33 a.m. to 8.59 a.m. So the eruption seems to have uh, uh, transpired from two active vents inside the main crater. So nakikita po natin yung dalawang uh, plumes actually ano and then um this produced uh, gray steam laden plumes 900 meters to 3 kilometers high and so we raised alert level from alert level 2 to alert level uh, the alert level 3 at 8 in this this morning ano and our recommending uh, have recommended evacuation of, ha of high risk barangays of Adoncillo in Banyaga Belbinwang and Laurel Busbusagulda in Eastern Bugaan East Ito rin po in the same barangays that we recommended for evacuation last year. When to all uh, erupted no July 21. No? Now, alert level, uh, ang ating pong scenario na kinaharap after this activity is the alert level may be sustained if uh, similar phyatomagmatic activity recurs or the alert level may be stepped down to alert level 2 if no phyatomagmatic activity occurs naman in the next two weeks. Ito po yung ating standard operating procedure for decreasing the alert level. And then there is a possibility, uh, uh, there is a, also a likelihood na magkaroon tayo ng pagtaas ng alert level if renewed magma intrusion from the deep magma reservoir, reservoir of Taal, which we detected in 2022, is detected. No? So, hindi po natin pwedeng alisin yung possibility na yun. Although, right now, the likelihood of that happening seems to be not really high. No? These are just some of uh, the footages that we posted sa ating social media of the activity this morning, taken from uh, this here uh, in the upper left uh, uh, is footage from our Agoncillo station. Nakikita po natin yung plume, medyo malaki siya. And as we can see, activity is actually occurring at two uh, vents dito sa loob ng main crater. No? So nag, nag, uh, nagsasa, nagsasama po yung eruptive ejecta ng dalawang vents na yun. Uh, this here is uh, at the lower left is footage from our uh, thermal IP camera at Maria Paz in Tanawan City. Makikita rin po natin yung uh, activity, no? May, actually, dito medyo mas, uh, medyo kita rin na meron dalawang pinagmumulan na uh, event. And this is our, the footage from our main crater station of activity uh, this morning. No? So, uh, makikita po natin na uh, yung meron pong medyo mas maitim na portion na uh, mas maitim na maliit na plume, no? Na lumalabas. Uh, dun sa bandang likuran nitong mas malaking plume. No? And that is actually theatomagmatic uh, ejecta no? uh, na, na, uh, which is tapping uh, juvenile or yung uh, magma mismo. Okay. Some of our the records of our, the eruption, uh, 11 of our 16 seismic stations detected the activity. So these are the records. Ito po yung seismic waveform. So yung onset niya ay 7.22. And then at 7.33, ito na yung diridiretsong uh, uh, eruption. Mas malakas yung energy no burst, no? kahit maliit lang siya. Mas malakas yung energy na naproduce niya. Uh, this is the same record as this, except that this is in the frequency. Uh, frequency spectra ang tawag dito. At makikita po natin na itong tatlong stations sa Volcano Island, uh, main crater Kalawit and uh, Balantok recorded the, uh, makikita po natin maganda yung record nila no? so almost continuous na activity. No? And this here is the same record kaya lang frequency distribution showing that the dominant frequency of the event is between 1 and 2 hertz. So medyo mas nasa low frequency end indicating the, the dominant uh, role of magma in the in this uh, eruptive activity. No? Okay. Uh, here is also a seismic uh, data. 
ito pong naka-inset dito is actually yung tinatawag natin real-time seismic amplitude measurements. Uh, siya po ay sukat ng seismic energy ng vulkan. Uh, makikita po natin na for the past few days actually ay mababa siya. No? Uh, nasa less than 2,000 tons. And then bumaba pa nga po ang seismic energy ng taal right before it actually erupted this morning. No? So there were no real seismic precursors to the activity. Ito po yung eruption uh, today. So makikita po natin bigla po tumalon yung seismic energy ng vulkan. Here is a record of the infrasound data from uh, our station at the main crater. At makikita po natin, ito pong mga uh, signal na ito ay mga maliliit, uh, maingay lang po yan. Ito po yung signal, yung may mga kulay pula na dots. Ito po yung infrasound signal no, ng mga explosion events. So our uh, geophysicists were able to detect at least 66 events, 66 explosion events itong eruption this morning. Now, uh, kung yung seismic activity po natin, uh, seismic record po natin ay wala po siyang precursory activity uh, na pinakita before the eruption this morning, meron po tayong somewhat trend na nakikita po sa ating measurement ng volcanic sulfur dioxide. This is average sulfur dioxide or SO2 measured by our geochemistry team since etong naka-inset since eruption in 2020. Makita po natin nung, nung uh, start po ng uh, unrest nung March 4 last year, mas mataas pa po yung tinataas ng SO2 kaysa nung right after the eruption of Taal. No? So makikita po natin that there is actually an, uh, um, non-steady or unsteady increasing trend in sulfur dioxide degassing. At ito pong nasa baba na graph, ito po yung uh, sulfur dioxide degassing this year. Yung kulay red na mga uh, broken lines, these are fiatomagmatic bursts or fiatomagmatic activity. Ito po yung dito sa uh, uh, June, no? uh, July, ito po yung uh, eruption. And July last year, ito po. At this, uh, this morning, ito naman po yung eruption. Makikita po natin before eruptive activity, meron po tayong mga pagtaas ng sulfur dioxide. Makikita rin po natin dito yan sa uh, graph na ito. Tumataas mo na po yung sulfur dioxide and then pag uh, after a few days, nakahang po tayo ng fiatomagmatic events. No? Uh, typically, a uh, few days after that, uh, after the peaks, nagkakaroon din po tayo ng bog. No? Nakaka-observe nakaka po tayo ng bog. So bago po nung pagputok this morning, nagkaroon po tayo ng mataas na sulfur dioxide measurements that peaked uh, uh, last week, ano? Ay, last, last week, to 21,211 tons per day. This is actually a rec uh, record no, for uh, this year no, na measurement. And a few days after that, ay nagkaroon po tayo ng uh, eruption. No? This is a similar trend na nakikita po natin sa mga piatomagmatic verse natin and sa ating uh, eruption last year. No? So nagkakaroon po tayo ng peaks in uh, sulfur dioxide. And then after a few days, nagkakaroon po tayo ng uh, reatomagmatic activity. So we are, that is why we are looking closely at our sulfur dioxide emissions. And uh, we are also, uh, through our teams at Tabulkin Observatory, we are measuring this nearly at a daily, ano, no? daily frequency na. Okay. Some other data, yung uh, ating earthquakes, the earthquake events being recorded from uh, Taal since this year, start of this year. Most of these are concentrated on the eastern flank of Taal Volcano Island here. And makikita po natin na ang depths nila ay somewhere between 7 uh, kilometers to very shallow. No? So not very deep. No? And uh, this actually, these plots show us that most of the earthquake activity which are all nearly all associated with magma, no? magma or fluid, no? are actually uh, just beneath Volcano Island. Hindi po siya hinuhugot mula dito sa maladim na magma source ng taan. So it's, be, it's probably or most likely due to an uh, activity dun sa magma na na-in-place na noong 2020 pa. 
also we if you look at the seismicity of Taal, this is the record since yung unrest last year, March 2021, until uh, today, March 2022, makikita po natin na nagkaroon actually po ng period of lull when, uh, at the start of the year. Ano? So, um, and then nagkaroon lang po tayo ulit ng uh, activity this March. Uh, ito pong color purple na line, this is yung... Uh, real-time seismic amplitude, which is, again, the measure of the seismic energy of the volcano. Makikita po natin na mataas po talaga siya last year after the July uh, eruption. And then this year, uh, before the eruption this morning, medyo nagmahimik po actually yung, yung taala. No? And then ito pong mga bars, uh, yellow, blue, uh, merong green, then may maliliit na pink. These are all the uh, earthquakes, no? low frequency volcanic earthquakes in blue. And then yung yellow uh, ay yung volcanic tremor, which, is, uh, which, was, uh, which has been the dominant uh, earthquake type in Taal since last year. No? So makikita natin na konti na lang po yung nare-record natin since the start of this year, no? unlike yung last year. No? Na talagang they were very, very uh, frequent. No? Yung ating low frequency and uh, tremor uh, events. So uh, with that, uh, uh, let me just show, uh, share with you also you, uh, this is uh, converted uh, data from the infrasound. Uh, infrasound actually records yung, uh, dito, uh, yung, air, um, yung sound waves uh, surface, no? Or yung, uh, uh, yeah, yung sound wave na napupudus ng ng activity at very low frequencies no, sa surface. And um, we typically cannot hear it, but this can be converted to sound, no, to audible sound. So that's what one of our geophysicists did. So ito yung ma maririnig natin. Naririnig po nila. Pinosa rin po natin to sa Facebook natin. Uh, naririnig po nila yung, ano, yung sound. Okay, hindi na share Walang. Hindi, hindi oh. naka-share nung nag-share ka ng slide. Meron nung i-click to share sound. Ah, uh, merong ano, i-click to Ah, so hindi niya nakikita yung ano? We can see the slide but no sound, no audio. Ah, oh, mahina. Ano pa paano ba i-increase yung sound? Wala ah. Uh, I can hear the sound eh, pero mahina lang. And share mo, tapos share again, tapos click mo yung sa ilalim na share sound ni ganun. Ah, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Tap share. Then share again. Share screen. And then share. Sa ilalim may, may clickable na share sound audio. Wala. Sa baba. Wala. Wala. Okay. Share. Tapos. Okay. Okay. Ayan, nakarinig na? Yes, yes. Dito na. Nandito natin. Okay. Ayan, nakarinig niya. It's very faint. Okay, uh, siguro uh, for uh, louder, ano, uh, please just check our social media web uh, uh, posting of the same data, no? Then maybe you can turn up your microphone para marinig po natin ang better. But essentially, we've, we've been able to detect 66 events, explosion events, no? Uh, for this morning's activity using yung infrasound uh, 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 sensors po natin sa uh, main crater. 
So I think that's the end of our presentation. Oh, that's the end of my presentation. And if you have questions, uh, please uh, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Maritan. Uh, may we call on Pak uh, our um, Yusek Solidun uh, to join us uh, for the question and answer. Uh, sir, um, camera po. Um, at patin daw ano, silang dalawa. May we call on you, Sex Solidu? Is he available or may kausap again? Yes, we can see, sir. May ita okay. si sir. Uh, pero hindi nakapin. Kaya mong ipin? Uh, okay. Napin na ko na mamay. Silang dalawa? Okay. Okay. Um, so we are now open for questions. Uh, we, we have some here na sa chat. But uh, if you have questions, please uh, go ahead and type. Uh, so, masagot po ni Mariton and ni Yusek Solidum, of course. Uh, they'll be very happy to answer your questions. Uh, shall we move na to the question, uh, Charmaine? Charmaine pala ay kasama natin. Kasama rin natin siya kahapon dito. So, maraming salamat, Charmaine. Um, this one is from Cecil Morelia. Uh, May we have a figure po for total population at least in case of a major eruption? So scenario siya. Until how far from the crater would the danger zone be in this case for pinion type eruption? Uh, I think she's thinking more of the bigger scale eruption. Sino po ang sasagot? Sir, would you like... Uh, so, si Marito na. Baka may alam siyang updated figure. Yeah, may figure uh, tayo. Well, we have already released the um, volcanic hazard, volcano hazards map natin, particularly in the base surge uh, for the uh, worst case scenario eruption from the main crater. And then we also have the scenario based na mga, uh, er, uh, hazard uh, maps no, for uh, different types of um, different locations of vents that may uh, actually uh, erupt. In, uh, in view of yung main crater. So, iba yung, there are only size of the uh, Taal Lake area that will be endangered. So, meron din tayong ganun scenario maps. So, that will depend, no? Uh, hindi po yung distance, there is no um, hard, uh, tawag mo dito, hard-coded distance from the crater na in danger, no? The danger zone is actually depicted by the base search hazard map. So, for... Uh, for this figure, I, I guess you can consult na lang yung Hazard Hunter natin. I think the map maps are up sa Hazard Hunter. And uh, there are also, we have also released uh, numbers or statistics of elements of and population at risk for various scenarios uh, uh, of, um, of yung worst case scenario or yung flung eruption. So we've also released yung potential population at risk for this okay. for various scenarios. Okay, salamat Maritan. Sir, may we also request for some comments uh, or other uh, information that you'd like to share with our friends from the media here right now? Yung mga common questions that tinatanong po nila since early this morning sa inyo para po ma-share naman po sa ating mga kasama na nandito uh, hindi pa kayo nakapanayam since this morning. Well, the common questions would be the possibility of raising it to to four, nasagot na ni Mariton kanina sa presentation. But uh, um, usually uh, we we uh, relate the current activity with the January 2020 eruption where the scale of the eruption was, was stronger than what we see now. The big difference is that the rapid ascent of magma, no? the rapid rise of magma in 2020, uh, enabled the sulfur dioxide gas to be not so released, but stored within the magma and it propelled the explosion. Right now, since last year, the rise of magma was slow and hence more sulfur dioxide uh, was noticed no? and uh, measured almost daily, significantly high. But still from time to time, um, the amount of gas uh, that would be released gets smaller as, as shown in the previous slide mukhang natatrap at naiipon ng konti yung sulfur dioxide gas in the magma. That's why we have this explosion. But uh, as we have been explaining uh, last year, 
for initial activities of the AL, we don't expect it to be like the January 2020 eruption because of the lesser amount of sulfur dioxide gas trapped within the magma. And as mentioned, for the worser case uh, uh, activity, we need to monitor uh, deeper magma that uh, would rise. And if, uh, if it ascends rapidly, then doon possibly mag trigger ng mas malalakas na eruption because the gas is somewhat preserved within. No? So yun yung common question. The other question, and I think this has also been presented, would be uh, when do we actually uh, raise and lower the alert? The things are alert level three, not to four. Uh, we can raise it fast if we see the parameters as mentioned, kung kailangang uh, uh, magtaas ng four. But when we lower it, kung wala talagang activity and downward trend yung pinapakitang parameters ng volcano, we have two weeks to monitor. No? So what is important is that all the uh, restrictions now would be focused on Taal Volcano Island at yung uh, limang barangay na nabanggit. Four and a half actually. No? Kasi yung isa ay eastern part lang ng Bugaan East. But all the rest of uh, the towns and of course outside of the Taal Lake uh, people can still go and visit. Okay, uh, which is actually related, sir, to the question that uh, masyado marami po sa FB natin and sa Twitter. Uh, safe po ba ang pumunta sa Tagaytay City, Nasugbu, and other areas for tourists? Yan po yung common question. Yes, yes it is safe. No? Uh, the approach here is managing the risk. No? Sa alert level 3, yung, yung nangyayaring activity, hindi pa yan masyadong... Uh, malakas, no? And so, uh, walang threat pa uh, beyond the uh, mentioned barangays. So, yun po. Uh, a lot of questions about that kanina since this morning. Um, another question here po sa atin uh, from Cecil again. Yusek, paki-explain where does the SO2, so for di uh, SO4, or SO4, sulfur gas, dioxide, yeah. uh, uh, come from and why is this a determinant to the intensity of an eruption? Well, uh, lahat ng magma may mga, of course, partly molten materials and uh, with it would be the gases. And uh, depending on the depth of uh, the magma, uh, certain gases will be released as it moves upward. Usually, ang unang na-release dyan would be carbon dioxide. And later at the shallower level, sulfur dioxide. So it's within. No? Um, the issue is if the uh, gases uh, are trapped within the magma, then it can explode violently. So for example, during the 1991 eruption of Pinatubo, and dami niyang sulfur dioxide gas. No, talagang, uh, uh, it really propelled the explosiveness of the eruption. So mas maraming gas, mas explosive. Uh, as an analogy, we can use a... A soda can or bottle. So, ang sabi nga nila, pag bottle ay mga <laughs> luma, luma ng generation, pag bote ang in-explain, and can mas bata. But in any case, if you use a, a container of soda, no, if you shake it, of course, there will be a gas bubbles. Uh, but then, if you suddenly open the cup, biglang sisirit yung, ano, yung liquid with the gas. But if you slowly... Uh, open the cup, dahan-dahang mag yung gas and hindi lalabas ng uh, maramihan ang, ang, ang soda. No? So ganun sa volcano. The more gases that would be trapped, it expands uh, the uh, the magma and it becomes more explosive. Okay, thank you, sir, for the question. I hope okay na si Cecil for the question. Next question, net 25, si Erlo Bringas. Um, Yusek again. Yusek. Si Erlo Bringas po from Net25, may possibility po ba na maulit yung sitwasyon o kanilang umaga at humantong po sa nangyari noong 2020? Salamat po. Well, in-explain ni Ms. Maritong kanina that ang babantayan natin ay kung merong magma na galing sa ilalim, na nadetect natin nga na may magma sa ilalim, sa deeper part, at kung biglang, biglang umakit yan, that would cause a stronger eruption. Uh, Pero as to the scale of the 2020, hindi pa natin nakikita yung ganong uh, activity so far sa Tal Volcano. Kasi yung 2020, ang uh, simula na activity was a phreatic or steam-driven explosion. Dahil 
natanggal yung pinaka-cup ng volcano because of the explosion, the pressure became lower than the pressure beneath. No? High pressure yung magma sa ilalim. Biglang umakyat ng dire-diretso yung magma. So mabilis talaga yon in the span of several hours only. In this case, wala pang ganun tayo nakikita. Okay, thank you. Salamat po. Um, I think this is a follow-up question again from Ms. Cecil uh, Morelia. If Tagaytay is safe for now, how about the lakeshore resorts outside the five barangays of Laurel or Agoncillo? The shoreline uh, are not being evacuated no? outside of those five barangays. The, uh, the activity though in the lake is somewhat restricted. No, kapag pupunta ka na doon malapit sa island, that's the recommendation. Maybe Mariton can also add more because they are facing activities and she attended a meeting with the OCD twice this morning where there will be restrictions in the activity in Tata Lake. Mariton, please. Yes, Mariton. Ah, yes, uh, meron ding, meron ipapatupad ng mga window hours po. Ano? Um, I think ang LG, yung OCD, for, so that, that um, yung ating po mga uh, nag- uh, Tawag ba dito, nag-aalaga po ng uh, fish ng isda dyan po sa Taal Lake ay pwede po nilang asikasuhin ng kanilang mga fish pen. Ano? So there will be windows window hours. I can't remember exactly na 8 o'clock to... Parang... Hindi lang po. Ay 8 o'clock to... 2 ba? Mga ganun? Basta uh, hapon, mid-afternoon. Opo. Opo. So magpapatupad lang po sila ng ganun. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, we need to caution again yung paglapit kasi sa Volcano Island. Kasi uh, we need to be cautious of the fact that you know we, we can have sudden activity that can rapidly escalate. Also, and, uh, although we are reporting SO2 all the time, hindi po natin maaalis yung CO2, carbon dioxide, which is probably getting the cast as well. No? And Ang carbon dioxide, ang SO2 po kasi na-detect natin yan with our instrument, but ang carbon dioxide ay tuso po yan. Ano? It is um, very, it, it is quite a heavy and lethal gas and odorless. And uh, kapag yan po ay na-release in big pulses, for example, kasama ng, or right uh, before an eruption, uh, no, no matter how uh, small or minor the eruption is, kung medyo malaki yung pulse ng CO2, pwede po yung makapag-asphyxiate as at, at makapatay ng tao. No? So we are actually also worried about that, no? yung carbon dioxide. So if you are uh, venturing near the volcano island, it's quite dangerous. No? Lalo na po dito sa mga malapit sa main crater. No? So the lake area is also quite uh, near... Uh, the lake surroundings quite near the volcano island is also may also be endangered if we have big pulses of carbon dioxide. So limited uh, activity and always being alert and careful pa rin po talaga kasi hindi po natin matansya si Taan. Um, we have another question here. Thank you, Mariton. Thank you, Yusek. Um, I, well, actually, sa comment, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. according to Mayor Daniel Reyes of Agoncillo, sabi po ni uh, Cecil. Um, other questions pa? Anybody would like to uh, uh, post, type their questions or would like to ask live? You may unmute, although mas maganda po sana kung natatype para po nakikita natin. Other questions? Other additional information? Maka may nagre-raise ng hand na hindi ko nakikita. Meron pa po ba? Okay. Uh, if there are no more questions, we just would like to again um, ask you sexually doom for uh, last uh, um, comments or reminders to people before we uh, wrap up today this afternoon's uh, press briefing, sir. Okay. Um, yung pinakadelikadong lugar sa kasalukuyan would be Tal Volcano Island and kung uh, uh, pag-uusapan uh, maliit na explosion or the gas expulsions can endanger people on the island so bawal pong pumunta I hope the public would uh, follow this recommendation second would be the five barangays sa precaution in case mas lumakas pa ang mga activity but all the rest should keep uh, monitoring the updates uh, from the OSTFEVOX through 
uh, the media and of course through the local government. Importante na ma-review ng local government with the residents yung kanilang mga evacuation plan and what to do. Saan pupunta ang mga bawat pamilya? We have to remember that uh, we are still in the COVID-19 pandemic state, although mababa na ang uh, cases, but we need to make sure that we still observe minimum health standards. Pagdating sa bulkan, kailangan ng mask. Pagdating sa COVID-19, kailangan din ng mask. So importante po na nagmamask po tayo at may distancing pa rin. Sakaling may mga evacuees uh, and uh, at uh, sempre sa evacuation area dapat uh, maayos po yun. Please uh, keep calm uh, pagdating po sa ating mga kababayan sa paligid ng Taal Volcano. And uh, DOST Evox on our part will continuously monitor the volcano. Ano? And uh, para po sa diretsong informasyon, uh, na pwede niyong makuha kaagad yung mga alerto ng DOST Evox, meron po tayong mobile app, Volcano PH Info app sa mga Android phone where you can actually get the information right away without passing through other intermediaries. If not, pwede naman po kayong mag-check ng ating website, Parati, Facebook, or Twitter. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, before I read one last question, sir, may nagpahabal, pasensya na po. Um, Charmaine would like to remind po, sana, to please fill out the attendance na sa link po natin sa chat. And um, um, we, we request po, uh, yesterday we had this media uh, workshop and one of the things that we explained is that uh, pagkaganto po may event uh, sobrang with data that we need to process and um, uh, information that we need to get out as soon as we can uh, may we request po sa media group fiber natin if you have or if you uh, uh, would like to say think that you can come and uh, do uh, interview face to face which actually hindi pa po masyadong ginagawa until now madalas po sa interview by phone ko tayo. At please coordinate po sa Media Viber group natin and let us know uh, para po hindi na sasayang yung time niya na walking in. Eh, kaso po, busy po talaga din sa pag-process ng data and pag-prepare ng information yung ating po volcano monitoring group kanina. So, reminder lang po again to all of us. Uh, sir, may we ask one more question tungkol sa CAP po. CAP issued a note um, to airlines how dangerous it is it to aircraft? What is coming out of the crater now? Uh, how dangerous is it to the aircraft? No, Well, uh, the notice to uh, airmen or the airline uh, whenever there is a volcano activity is part of uh, DOST FIVOX job. Uh, we issue, um, of course, daily bulletins that the uh, Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines and the Volcanic As Advisory Centers based in Tokyo and Darwin, Australia, uh, would also be getting. And if in case there is an eruption, we issue an eruption notification. Uh, so, nakukuha nila po yun. And it is important to note na kaya po nagbababala po tayo sa mga aircraft, kapag abo o, so, or gas po yan, makaka-apekto sa makina, especially for the, the ash. Since the engine of the aircrafts are hot, Pwede pong matuna po yung mga abo at maging glass. And it can uh, uh, block the airflow of the engines. No? So pwede pong mag-stall yung makina at uh, of course uh, uh, baka pong magsak pa yung plano. And uh, so far naman, uh, this uh, operation is uh, uh, done well. Uh, so hindi lang po uh, advisory sa mga tao ang ating ginagawa, lalo pa sa mga duty officer. Uh, Kaya nga tuwing may mga activity, yung mga kayang bumalik sa opisina, pumunta sa opisina would come because they will be swamped with managing all this information. No? So importante po yan na talagang masundan ng mga aircraft kung anong nangyari sa Talvokay na kasi delikado sa kanilang mga makina. Maraming salamat for the clarification, sir. I hope uh, na-satisfied po ang sagot sa inyo. Um, last request ni Charmaine, syempre. Si Charmaine po ay uh, very busy um, handling this media briefing. Um, please turn on your cameras po for a quick photo. Sa lahat po na nandito ngayong hapon, thank you very much. Sa lahat po, hindi ko na po iisa-isahin at kayo po ay 39 sa, sa atin pong group. Thank you very much for uh, being here this afternoon. And I hope nasagot po lahat ng briefing na ito ang mga katanungan nyo sa FIVOX. Ready na po?